Welcome back to another Bisect Hosting server tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to import and export MySQL databases. To begin, log into your Bisect Hosting premium or budget control panel and then scroll down here where it says MySQL database. It's going to give you an administrative link in which you can click to access the PHP MyAdmin. Go ahead and log in with the login information that's provided on the control panel here. You can see I have the database name as a username and then the password is prompted here as well. Once you're logged in, you're going to see on the left hand side all of the tables that are currently available and databases. In order to export it, all you have to do is select the export button here on the top and then you can change the format if you want to have it in PDF, SQL or whatever you really prefer. I'm going to keep mine as default to SQL. You can also change the from quick to custom. If you want to select the certain databases that you want to download, you can rename the export tables and columns, and there's plenty of other options that you can select. But again, that's all optional. For my example, I'll just be using the quick button and then select go to begin the download. You can see here now I have a localhost.sql. Now let's say I want to import an SQL database. To do that, it's pretty simple. You just select the import button here at the top, and then it's gonna say browse your computer, click choose file, and then select the SQL database that you want to upload. For mine, I'm gonna do that local host again that I have in my downloads. Click open. And then here I can change the character set for file. If you don't know what this is, just keep it by default. You can do partial imports, other options, and then of course you can have your format if you want CSV, SQL, XML, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna keep mine as default to SQL. And then there's also the SQL compatibility mode. Again, you can set this to whatever you'd like, but then once you're done, you can just click the go button to begin the import. It should say import has been successfully finished and then the amount of queries executed. That's gonna wrap up today's tutorial. If you have any other questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact us on our support tickets, or you can view our complete knowledge base at bisectosting.com kb. If you enjoyed today's video and would like to see more, consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing, and comment down below what you'd like us to cover next. Thanks for watching.